Hello and welcome to another episode. In this episode we're going to discuss how to find the Northern Pinwheel Galaxy or M101 and its associated extragalactic nebulae. This is a confusing name for a galaxy seeing as the M33 galaxy also has the nickname the Pinwheel Galaxy. If you'd like to have more information about the M33 galaxy I'll have cover this in more detail in the video above. However, what's really exciting about the M, uh, M101 Northern Pinwheel Galaxy is that you can see objects in it. However, more on that later. To find the Northern Pinwheel Galaxy, you first need to locate the Ursa Major constellation. Then, find the binary stars Alcor and Mizar here. There is more information on these two stars in the video linked here in case you're interested. Then, follow the small trail of stars until you find the M101 Galaxy just above the final star and in a diagonal direction. Don't expect to see a spiral galaxy when you're looking at the Northern Pinball Galaxy. You're probably going to see something that looks like a fuzzy patch as shown in this video here. Once you've found M101, take your time and use averted vision to look around the galaxy. So don't look directly at the galaxy, but look what you can see around it. And hopefully you can find some of the fainter patches that are actually objects within the galaxy itself. Have you seen NGC 5461? You should be able to see it with a medium powered telescope. I found this had quite strong surface brightness and stood out quite a bit. What's fascinating about this object is it's actually a nebula within the Northern Pinwheel Galaxy itself. I think it's amazing that it's possible to see a nebula within another galaxy with your own eyes, so it's really something you should try and do. Now I'm going to show you a stacked image of the Northern Pinwheel Galaxy, and as you can see it's a beautiful galaxy. However, to see all the features I'm going to talk about next, you're going to need a telescope of at least 10 to 12 inches. So let's annotate this image and run through them. The first object you've already seen which is NGC 5461, but in this image you can see there's actually a lot more nebulosity running behind it. If we zoom out again, we can move slightly further around to see NGC 5462. Uh, there isn't actually much to show in this image except for a few splashes of light to show that there is actually something there. Unfortunately, I'll need a bigger telescope to pick that one up. So, moving along, we go to NGC 5458, another nebula, this time containing many bright blue stars. To the side of this nebula is NGC 5453. Moving further out to two more nebulae, 5451 and NGC 5449. The final two nebulae you can spot are NGC 5450 and NGC 5447. Larger telescopes will be able to show a dark gap that actually flows between these two uh, nebulae. Don't worry if you can't find many of these targets visually. Many of them are very dim. However, it is a great achievement to be able to say that you have seen a nebula or nebulae in another galaxy. I'll leave you with this uh, image of the Northern Pinwheel Galaxy, M101. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, then please do comment below. Um, if you like the episode, give us a like, and if you want to see more astronomy videos, then please do subscribe. Goodbye and clear skies.